Today in this video, we are going to learn how this motor can be controlled through solid state relay by using this selector switch. Through this video, I will explain you complete wiring along with how solid state relay works. So friends, let's start the video. This device which I have now is known as solid state relay. This type of relay is whole like this relay which is used in industries. So our relay is same like this one. Some little differences there in between these two relay. These differences are important to understand. In this glass type relay, inside this, a mechanism is present. This mechanism here does movement when you provide power supply to this relay. But in this solid state relay, such kind of mechanism is not present. Along with this, when you use this relay, no sparking occurs. So we can say that this type of relay can be used where fire catching materials are kept. I mean, if you have a tank inside which petrol or gas is kept, if there you want to make any electrical contact, then in this kind of places, you can use this relay. So when you use this relay, no sparking occurs when we turn on and off this relay. When you are going to operate this relay, then you have to provide 3 volt to 30 volt DC power supply. But in this normal type of relay, to operate this relay, only rated voltage power supply need to be provided. Like for now, I have this relay which operates on 24 volt. If I want to operate this relay, then I have to provide 24 volt DC power supply. But this relay can be operated just on 3 volt. So in this relay, if I want to perform connections in this relay, then I need DC power supply for this. For providing DC power supply, I am using this SMPS. As you know about this SMPS, what SMPS do? It converts AC power supply into DC power supply. To this SMPS I have, I provided input power supply to this. Now what I have to do is, from these output power supply terminals, I have to supply power to this SSR. But I don't want this relay to be on all the time. I want that when we turn on this selector switch, then in this condition only, relay will turn on. And when I turn off this, relay also get turned off. For this, what we have to do is, in this DC power supply, like here you can see that, positive V is written. It means this terminal is for positive power supply. So with this terminal, we will connect one wire. Take other end of the wire and to the selector switch at NO contact here, provide input power supply to this NO contact. So take this other end of the wire and connect with this NO contact. In the selector switch at the output terminal of NO contact, connect another wire. Take other end of the wire and to this solid state relay. You can see here on relay at this point plus symbol is here. For controlling we use positive power supply. So to this wire also we get positive power supply. So in this SSR at positive terminal here connect this wire. After this. To the negative terminal of SMPS, connect a wire with this terminal. From this wire, the power supply flow will be negative power supply. So to this SSR at the negative terminal here, connect this wire with this terminal. After finishing this much connection, if you turn on the selector switch, then you can see relay also turned on. This indication is glowing. It means that this relay started generating output command. Now I am turning this off you will see that indication also goes off. So you can see relay on, relay off. Okay, this is done. In this relay we have, after turning on relay, what we have to do, the motor we have here, we have to turn on this motor. To run this, what we have to do, let's understand. As you can see here, what's written is 24 volt to 380 volt AC. This means the relay I have will control the load from 24 volt to 380 volt. This relay is of single phase which is manufactured by CNC company. So what you have to do is, in this motor you have, take one wire of motor and in this single phase power supply, my single phase power supply is connected here. So what you have to do is, in this motor you have, take one wire of motor and in this single phase power supply, my single phase power supply is connected here only, so I am using from here. If you want, you can use different power supply. After this, in this motor, take the phase wire and to this solid state relay at output terminal here, here two number terminal is written, connect this wire with this terminal. 
in this way you have to do the connection now in this relay at one number terminal you have to connect phase supply for this what we will do is in this smps the point where we connected phase supply connect one wire at the same point the other end of the wire take this wire and to this ssr connect this wire here at one number terminal i connected this wire through solid state relay if you want to control any motor only this much connection is required if now i turn on this selector switch then you can see relay turned on relay is turned on so motor is also turned on if i turn off the selector switch you can see fan also turned off you can see it is off let's start again you can see it goes on after this when i want to turn this off then simply by turning off the selector switch motor goes off friends i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video